Good morning, guys. It's Thursday, December 18th. Yeah, Vlogmas Day 18. So we are about to head out to work today. This is a little scenery pic of Dominic's gingerbread house that he created last night. I showed you yesterday in yesterday's vlog that you guys will see today, which would be today. Anyways, yeah, we're going to be heading out to work, and then after school, we are going to doctor's appointments, and um, then after that, we're going to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. We have to start, and then tomorrow is our last day, our last day for three weeks, three weeks. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. We need to rest. Don't we need a rest? I guess. But you're going on, you go to practice. And I got a tournament Saturday. Right. So that's where I'll be Saturday. Yeah. All day. In Reedley. In Reedley. From 9 o'clock to like 6 o'clock. I, I don't think we're going to be there at 9 o'clock, but we'll be there because we need to sleep just a little bit, even though I have to take him to the school. At like 5, five o'clock. I'll ask him about that. So anyways, um, we're about to head out. We're just getting all our stuff together. We got my stuff ready for tomorrow. We're gonna have a breakfast for the kids. We make them, we're gonna make them a morning breakfast since we're out of school around 12 o'clock. And I got my smoothie ready. It looks a little gross today, but you know, it tastes really good. I put a lot of extra greens. Actually, I wanted to show you guys this that I got yesterday at Vaughn's. They have Fresh Express juicing greens. So they have baby kale and spinach. It contains a week's worth of juicing, but I mean, how much are you going to use it? So, I don't know. I mean, I use a lot. I used a lot today. And I, it was only five bucks, but that's pretty good. But you know what? This stuff gets bad pretty easy. I mean, you know, it's coming from the truck. Who knows how long it's been pra pra um, packaged. So, yeah, that's something I'm drinking now. I found that. I'm going to use it with my smoothies. And this is my Vita Coco. Oh, my gosh. I love this stuff. And, and my Activia is right here. This is my, I always use vanilla flavored. I don't use like raspberry, strawberry, blueberry. I always stick to vanilla because I don't want it to, the taste to interact with my smoothie, you know, because I use a lot of other um, fruits within that yogurt. But you know, that's to keep me regular because I told you, you know, weight loss surgery patients aren't as regular as other people because I don't know, you know, our intestines are like sewn differently. Like, I don't know, it's just weird to explain how, you know, gastric bypass surgery is but that is my smoothie for today Dominic's you know getting in my purse notes? oh the notes on the thing I'm not gonna see her if you do well it's on the thing where I put my clothes he wants me to give Bay a love letter but Bay is his Bay he can't even he's not even supposed to have a Bay so all right, guys, we're about to head out. We're going to put our jackets on and leave right now. So you guys have a great day, and we'll the see you guys after school. With Victor. Um, Victor goes to a dermatologist, which is for his hair, because he has um, alopecia. He's had alopecia since he was one years old. And if you don't know what alopecia areata is, it's actually... Um, a disease where your immune system is fighting the hair follicles in your head or anywhere in your body which causes balding and he has patchy balding in his scalp so he's got a head full of hair full of curls but he's able to hide the bald spots in his head with his hair because he's been blessed with curly hair so luckily he hasn't had to shave his head or you know do anything drastic to his head um, last week no last month um, September September we went in to do injections for his head it was October. okay oh yeah it was October October we went to have injections he had five injections put in his skull in his scalp and it was to help see if the it would trigger growth in his scalp which it didn't it just got worse so Right now, we're just gonna continue doing the drops, and we're gonna go back in six months, and if it gets any worse, because it has a little bit gotten worse on the side of his head, and on the top, from right here, and back here of his neck, the neck area, it's a, it's a little bit balding. 
we're gonna go back in six months just to see how well it's progressing maybe there's other alternatives but for right now we're just gonna keep doing the um, the drops for him and what we do is two weeks on two weeks off until we see progression but for right now he got uh, he actually got permission to wear a beanie in class because we've had problems with teachers making him take his beanie off and you know it is the winter time and it, it has been a little bit difficult for him to um, cover the bald spots because some of the hair is becoming a little bit thin in that area so I, I just straight out asked, I go, can I get a doctor's note for him to wear a beanie in class? And he was like more than happy to do it for us. So tomorrow I'm going to actually do it, take it to the, the VP and have them take care of that, email all his teachers, you know. For him, he hasn't let it bother him, but sometimes he gets a little upset about it and he does express his feelings with me. And he doesn't mind if I share this with you, which is fine. I don't. No, because I'm talking you would have told me to shut <laughs> but there's other people out there and I just spit there's other people out there that may be watching my videos that might be having that might have alopecia that might not even know what that is you might even see people that have it so yeah this is what I've been dealing with pretty much his whole life and you know he's got beautiful curly hair though when it does grow out so but that's what we're doing right now. We just left and right now we're going to the mall. We have to get some Christmas. Oh my God, this mall is ugly. We are going to Fashion Fair because I need to get some Christmas presents. For me, family. And I need to also get him a new beanie since he's gonna be wearing beanies now. So yeah, you guys have a great hey guys, It's the end of the night and I'm kinda winding down right now um we went to the mall and we bought some presents for some people that we needed to I didn't get I didn't I didn't buy presents for the boys but they wanted stuff I'm like really I can't buy Christmas presents when you're around me so I'm actually doing some laundry because I don't want to do it when I start my vacation so <laughs> If I wash dish, if I wash clothes now, I won't have to worry about it so much during the vacation because I know we won't be going it anywhere that much to be dirtying up clothes, blah blah blah. But anyways, I mean I still have to wash, but um, well we just finished up dinner. Um, the boys had burritos and I had some brown rice and some edamame and like three pot stickers because I love pot stickers. So I had that, um, but yeah, other than that, we're just winding down. The boys are in the room. Victor's working out. Dominic's playing. Um, Victor's still at work. I'm waiting for him. He's been in the mountains since 6.30 this morning delivering, being somebody Santa. So, yeah, um, it's pretty chill. We're kind of just waiting for tomorrow to be here and be done with for we can be on vacation for the next three weeks but then I start school myself January 11th so but yeah I wanted to talk to you guys um, still about Victor's alopecia um, the nurse actually had talked to me but right after the doctor had left that um, her son they were actually her son's actually the same age as Victor that he had alopecia as well, um, but he got it when he was two two years old, and Victor's got had it since he was a year old, and she's had his, he he completely lost his hair. He had no hair, so he had area uh, alopecia universal, which is like the whole crown of his head was just gone. And she was just explaining to me like how she felt, and it was kind of nice to talk to another mom. Because um, I've been dealing with this for like quite some time right now. Um, throughout his whole elementary school year, he had a whole full head full of hair. Then when he went into seventh grade, um, it started to get a little bit thinner. By eighth, it started to get worse. And then by ninth, it's gotten more worse than it's ever been before since when he was one years old. 
So it was kind of nice to talk to a mom to understand what I was going through and how I feel because um, I don't know how he feels. I mean, I can ask him, but you know, his feelings are his feelings. And as a, as a teenager, you know, I, I tried to ask him, but I don't want to pressure him, you know, but I, I want him to know that, you know, I'm here and I will do anything to make it better for him. You know, like getting that beanie, um, you know, the doctor's note for the beanie for them to allow it to work. So anything treatments, you know, I begged him to, to do the injections and, and, you know, I know, and I know it hurt. They didn't numb his head and it took a lot out of him to do it, but he didn't want to do it again. They were going to give him a higher dose and he said no. So, you know, that's, that's, that's what his choice was. And I couldn't really pressure him anymore, you know, but, um, it was really nice to talk to that nurse and how she felt. And he had offered, um, support groups with people with alopecia. Um, so next month I'm going to talk to Victor and convince baby Victor, like, let's go. Maybe there's some teenagers his age that he can talk to or something, you know, for he doesn't feel like he's just in it alone because, you know, I was a teenager but I didn't have any serious illnesses. All I was just had asthma. But I was sick when I was a little kid, not like teenager. And alopecia is a very noticeable disease when you have hair loss. And people are rude or judgmental and just can be saying some hurtful things. And I don't want him to go through life like that. You know, I want him to live a life, but it's not like there is no normal, like I keep saying. But just to be okay, you know, and, and comfortable within himself. I want him to be comfortable, you know. It took me a while to be comfortable, you know, with everything with, like, weight loss surgery and seeing the transformation. Because when I see myself in pictures, you know, I see how big I was and then how little I am now. It's still, I still, like, wow you know I am that person still but I'm just a smaller size and that's for him you know he sees pictures of him with no hair when he was a baby and then now he was like I was bald and I'm like yeah so you know it 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 can mess up with your mind but you know I just want him to get the proper counseling or just something to help them if he ever did feel like he felt bad but I just you know they're your kids you just want to take care of them you don't want nothing to happen to them you always wish that you can take whatever is bothering them and you know handle it yourself so yeah so as of this week it's Christmas we have Christmas in one week so that's crazy so you guys have a great night I'm gonna finish folding my clothes and yeah I'm so beat I'm not beat like tired I'm just emotionally beat like you know having to deal with all this stuff you know like I said um I'm sometimes I know what a single mom feels like when when the father is not there but yet I mean I have the support but he's just not there when he's at doctor's appointments or whatever whatever it is I'm the one that just deals with it head on and it takes a lot because I mean, I could tell family members, but they just don't know. And it's always just three of us. I mean, it's the three of us from the minute we go to school, the minute we come home, dinner, you know. And he provides a good house for us, and he takes care of us really well. But it's just sometimes I just need him there, like, at that doctor appointment or, you know, whatever that the boys go through or just whatever, but... I mean, he'll be home and he'll ask because he does what he does. So he's a good daddy. So anyways, you guys have a great night and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.